yeah welcome back now we are going to discuss about four marks question which is in the plants or uh, spouted seeds releases carbon dioxide during the respiration which means when respiration occur every time respiration occur if it is alive so during the respiration spouted seeds releases carbon dioxide so how do we prove that so that is a question during so how do you prove that how do you prove that co2 releases means carbon dioxide releases okay in sprouts during respiration okay respiration so this is the question respiration jarugutu undaga molakettinatuvanti ginjaralo carbon dioxide release avutadi ani nivela nerupistavu how do you prove that carbon dioxide release in sprouted seeds during respiration during respiration so here aim you know that lab activity type we want to write carbon dioxide releases during respiration in sprouted seeds in sprouted seeds okay this is this is the aim uh, find out carbon dioxide releases uh, during the respiration in sprouted seeds okay finding out finding out co2 releases releases during respiration respiration in sprouts okay this is finding out finding out in the material so next to what the materials what materials are required okay two beakers one is a big and one is small two beakers one is big and one is small next what is there rubber cap rubber cap for the beaker okay lime water lime water and the sprouts molakettina ginjalo and the sprouts so this these are the materials now what we want to do here take a big beaker okay here it is a beaker okay is it appearing right okay this is cap for the beaker okay before it what we want to do we have to take another small beaker in this lime water what is it lime water okay lime water next year sprouted seeds sprouted seeds here all sprouted seeds okay these are all the sprouted seeds germinated seeds okay around this we have to molakettina ginjal sprouted seeds means germinated seeds
okay so these are sprouts sprouts right so if we keep uh, it uh, sometime in this uh, beaker continuously so in this respiration occur it releases a gas which entered into the lime water okay sprouted seeds so whatever the gas which releases into the lime water lime water turns into milky white milky white remember this these sprouted seeds in the seeds respiration occur due to respiration carbon dioxide releases so whatever the gas released how do we know that that is a carbon dioxide if that gas sent into the lime water that gas turns the lime water milky white if that lime water turns into milky white this gas is a carbon dioxide no doubt it turns into milky white so that's what it is called as a carbon dioxide that gas is a we proved that a carbon dioxide so what is our aim finding out the co2 release during the respiration in sprouts so now what gas released here so that gas we proved that that is a carbon dioxide okay so this is this gas is co2 carbon dioxide releases in this the simple experiment this is just you can take the sprouted seeds in the beaker big beaker in a small beaker in that lime water and close the cap let it be keep somewhere after some time so that sprouted seeds releases some air which is we send it to the lime water lime water turns into milky so that's what we can prove it it is carbon dioxide okay so in this procedure you have to write everything how you are doing procedure this is a procedure you have to write how you are arranging this apertures and how you are doing this activity where you started and where you end up so everything you want to write after ending what you got that is a result so what is the result what is the result so that a sprouted seed series is some amount of air that send into the send into the lime water because lime water also inside that so that lime water turns into milky white because that is a carbon dioxide so result is carbon dioxide releases in the sprouted seeds during the respiration so you can write anyway that information you found carbon dioxide release from the sprouted seeds in the respiration so next precautions precautions what precautions you are going to take precautions what precautions you are going to take during this activity so and with the care everything sprouted seeds you have to keep so because you, know, you should not uh, left it it will fall down and it will break so keep the cap tightly air should not go outside because that air should contact with the lime water then only we will know that there is a carbon dioxide when it turns into milky white so these are the precautions we will follow so here this is a four marks question already i told to you so directly they will ask how do you prove that CO2 is CO2 releases. Okay, I didn't write CO2 releases in sprouted seeds during the respiration. We can write releases. Releases. Okay, we speed speed up a complete jar book. Now, what about it? First, I just told you. So, one jump. Jump in. How do you prove that CO2 releases in sprouted seeds during the respiration? So, this is the method we follow. We prove that. CO2 release in sprouted seeds during the respiration. So this is completely. So sometimes, if it is given as a four marks question, concepts or understanding question, they will ask you how to answer in this like lab activity. Sometimes you will get this picture itself. So labels you have to write. Label it a picture. Two marks question. Sometimes that picture will give and labels will give. Then they will ask a question. what does it indicate if you see what you are going to remember what you are going to recall in your what is going to recall in your mind so it is carbon dioxide releasing in sprouted seed during the respiration activity recalled so like that so sometimes which solution you took lime water 
So lime water turns into which color? White color, milky white. So which gas turns lime water milky white? Carbon dioxide. So maybe like this, this is a one more question. May come. So that's what you can remember it. You have to prove in this way. It is a four marks question. Okay, procedure you have to write from the beginning to ending how you are doing. So that procedure is important. In that procedure you have to draw this picture. Then what is the result? Sprouted seeds releases carbon dioxide during the respiration. That is the result you found it. So how do you prove that that is a carbon dioxide? When that air contact with the lime water, lime water turns milky white due to that air. So that's what we can prove that that is a carbon dioxide. Next precautions we are while we are doing we have to take care about ourselves so otherwise it will it will fall down and it may break down and break it so the total equipment is going to collapse so that's what you have to handle you have to take care or otherwise handle with the care to do this activity whenever wherever while we are doing any activity in the lab with the different equipments and deal with the care. We have to use that instruments with the care without destroying and without getting any harm. So the common uh, precautions we will write along with the special precautions what are the two beakers, rubber cap, lime water and spouted seeds. These are the materials. I think you understood this. So this is uh, one activity. And next activity also we are going to discuss. What is the next activity that I will give with the another video. But here why I am going to discuss about that means sometimes. So both how do you prove that germinated seeds releases heat and carbon dioxide. Heat and carbon dioxide. In that video I will tell one second. Activity. So here one whole rubber curve we have to use. Along with this we have to insert a thermometer in that. So beginning, beginning of the activity you have to remember what is the reading of thermometer after the end of that you have to find out the readings. So thermometer mercury level increases because that is a carbon dioxide that is hot. Temperature, is, temperature increases in this beaker then lime water also turns into milky white. So both carbon dioxide and heat releases during the respiration in spouted seeds. One, only one question you, you may get so at that time in this you have to use thermometer sometimes carbon dioxide releases means this is so sometimes heat releases in spouted seeds means now upcoming video what i am going to give in that that you want to write both you can write or individually also you can write so sometimes mixed question may come or sometimes carbon dioxide and heat separate questions may come so remember that may you can join two questions or may you can write individual answers based on the question what question you got that you have to uh, read and you have to answer to that question that is about uh, okay next next video i am giving you that about heat releases during uh, respiration in the spouted seeds right so that again i am going to give another video in that you will get uh, so whatever up to now i taught i think you understood uh, so listen carefully once twice thrice you can listen and read it is very very dead easy activities simple activities these steps you should not forget a material procedure result and a precaution okay get ready for the next video so today so with that last the last video is there with that video we are going to close the second chapter every concept